and logistically, it just there doesn't seem to be an an easy an easy road to getting getting home at this point. Scott Hines and his small crew of Okies have been stuck in the mountains of Peru for weeks. Man, it just feels like we're all alone here. I know we're I know. not. All of our friends and family are trying to contact everybody that they know and to try to help us. We here at In Your Corner did our part on Monday, sharing Scott's story while local lawmakers worked to bring him home. We're familiar with the case in Peru, so the answer is yes, we're, we're on it. We are encouraged. I uh, think that they will be uh, back later this week. Turns out Representative Horn was right with a phone call from the U.S. Embassy late Wednesday night. We go to bed. I wake up out of a deep sleep from from knocking on my door. I could check your voicemail. Is your phone on? And my phone wasn't on. Like it was on it was on airplane mode. And I was like, ah. Scott and crew had made the list, set to fly out Thursday morning. Their crew packed in a flash, packed in a van, and drove to the airport in nearby Cusco, where they were met by a crowd from across the US. So we were just put in a single file line around around the, the exterior of, of the airport. Having never met a stranger, Scott did what Scott does best. It's like you can take the journalist out of Oklahoma, but you can't take the journalist out of this Oki. It's like, it's like, it's like I was running around interviewing people. After a health and temperature check, the team boarded their plane, bound for Lima, Peru, then Miami, Florida. We did it. <laughs> we made it to Miami. Scott overcome with thanks tonight for those in his corner. Stepping foot back on U.S. soil for the first time, it was an experience that is really hard to wrap my mind around. And, <sighs> you know, like I, I got, yeah, and, there was, and, I, and, and I couldn't stop smiling. I'm Adam Snyder, in your corner.